The Superbook Show is back, and we might be hitting the road soon. Wait, we are? With COVID still going on? Well, I might, when it's safe again. You know what? Probably not. Wait, why? Well, we'd have to do the impossible first. You mean like, impossible mission? What was that? <laughs> Nothing. I just love impossible missions. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> our class trip got canceled this year. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but our school is letting us plan the trip next year. Oh, okay, so you gotta wait, but still cool. Yeah, but it's not happening. Why? Well, they said we could choose anywhere to go in the country, but that's way too many options. My class cannot agree on anything. Nothing? If they gave us a pizza party, my class wouldn't be able to tell what kind of pizza to get. If they let us choose teams for a game, we would spend the entire time arguing. I see. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, would be to unite your class for one common cause. Your next year's class trip. My mission? No. I don't see why we have to agree on anything. I wish the teachers would just choose the location of the trip and this would all be over with. No, your teachers are giving you guys an opportunity to grow up and make mature decisions. I mean, yeah, I can see that, but... But unity is important. I mean, why? Look at the world today. No unity. And life still goes on. <laughs> I mean, you're kind of right, but it would go a lot smoother if people were able to put their differences aside and come together. Jesus prayed for believers to be one as he and the Father are one. He also prayed that we would experience perfect unity. That proves to the world that God sent Jesus to save us. Whoa, so our unity is proof of God's plan for the world? Yes, exactly. Not to mention that when people are unified, they accomplish great things. All the thought and planning we have done is finally coming to fruition. Our people are one. The building of this monument has brought them all together for this massive undertaking. And now, behold, there is nothing we cannot do. Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Unfortunately, they were only building the Tower of Babel to glorify themselves, not God. So they weren't really using their unity for good. But what if they had included God in their plans and used their unity for good? Imagine what they could have accomplished. Right. God said that nothing they proposed to do would be withheld from them. So it's not just unity, but unity in Christ that's the key. You got it. In that case, I should pray for my classmates to be unified in God. Can't argue with that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we should pray for our nation and our leaders to be unified in God. Now you're talking. <laughs> and if you're watching at home, pray for our nation. Pray that the things are wrong to be made right. Not in the way that people think is right, but in the way that God thinks is true, just, and fair. Let's be unified in what God wants. His word is forever alive. Check out thesuperbookshow.com to learn more about unity in Christ. Include, Include God, God in your plans. plans. That proves to the world that God saved. Whoa, little boop, boop. Can't argue with that. Is there a mat? <laughs> <laughs> so they were using their unity. That's, they weren't using their unity for good things. That's what they were not doing. That's great, let's do it again. 